questions that you can ask uh, an HR here is how frequently the bonus is paid. Was there any year the bonus was not paid in the company? What is the average range where the bonus has been paid? And how is the bonus measured? What is a complete no when you are negotiating a salary? Whenever you are discussing about salary, you do not have to give an order. You have to request and that shows that you're happy with the offer. You are just trying if there is something else that can be done that can make you much more happier. So have a very polite tone to it. Hi everybody, welcome to my channel and today we are going to talk about salary negotiation. Is salary negotiation allowed here in Germany or it is not allowed? I talk to many candidates and I take the HR round and some of the candidates negotiate the salary and some of them don't. How do we take it? We are also going to talk about what are the different stages when you have to disclose your salary expectations and what is the best time to negotiate your salary. And also, what are the other factors you should consider when you are thinking about accepting a job offer? Is it only the salary or also the other benefits that you should consider? And very important is what are the complete no-nos when you are negotiating a salary? These things that you should completely avoid. And at the end, I'm also going to give you some tips on how can you negotiate your salary here in Germany and you do not come across as a root candidate and still you uh, negotiate a salary and see what best can be done. So this is going to be a very informative video for you in case if you're looking for a job here in Germany. This video is helpful to everybody, whether you're a fresher, you're an experienced candidate, you are moving to Germany or you're already working in Germany, irrespective in case if you're looking for a job in Germany, you can go through this video to understand how do you negotiate your salary here in Germany. But first, can you negotiate your salary here in Germany? So let's get started. As I said, I'm an HR here. I work as a recruiter and I hire a lot of candidates. And there are a few candidates who negotiate the salary and some candidates who do not negotiate the salary. Well, the best practice here in Germany is that you stick to what you have said. There are very few people who, you know, go back on their words and they stick to what they have said. So it's considered very professional that if you have given a number and you are sticking to that number, that's really considered professional. However, that does not mean that people do not negotiate salary. People do negotiate the salary and there are certain things which are allowed while negotiating and certain things which you should completely avoid while negotiating. Don't worry, we will talk about each and every point here. So the first thing to uh, know here is where do you have to disclose your salary expectations? That is very important. And also when do you have to negotiate the salary? Well, the first time when you have to disclose your salary expectation is when you're applying for a job in any company. When you're filling the application form, that time you're going to have a section called as salary expectations. And sometimes it's going to be a text field or sometimes it's going to a numerical field. So you have to give your salary expectations there. You are doing that. And if you think that you can say something right now while applying and when you are interviewing, you can say something else, please avoid that. Do not do that. Every time when we as a HR, we are reviewing an application, we are also reviewing your salary expectations. Sometimes it might so happen that we already have a range for a salary and the salary expectations that you have mentioned, it is so high that uh, you might not get a call for that particular role because we know we cannot meet your salary expectations. So knowing your salary expectation at this stage is a critical step both for the recruiter and you as a candidate. And that is why when you mention your salary when you are applying for a job, do not mention any random number. Now, this is what I see so much from the candidates. While applying, they'll just mention a random number. And then while clearing the interview, they realize, oh my God, maybe I have mentioned a less number and I am not okay with that salary and I should ask more. And then there is a huge gap between what they had mentioned and what they are asking at the end of the interview. Now, that is a complete no here in Germany. Please avoid doing that. That is considered very unprofessional and it is also considered that you are not being honest. See, when you apply for a job in Germany, your file, your application form, your resume, your cover letter, everything comes to us. 
so when we are inviting you for the interview we have gone through everything and that's when we have invited you for the interview so do not uh, think that you know we would not remember what you have put in uh, the application form we have that data with us as soon as you clear the interview at every stage we have that information we can just log into the system and just check what you had mentioned regarding your salary expectation when you applied for the job and in fact you're getting a call because you fit into the salary range also so make sure that at this stage the very first stage when you are applying for a company you know what are your salary expectations say in some cases you are not aware what is the salary range for this particular role that is when you are going to do the research and that is called as a market research now how do you do the market research you go to glassdoor you have created a very detailed video on how do you understand the salary of different roles here in germany so go through that video but you have to do a market research and then you have to mention that in the uh, job application that's the first stage now in case if you still not aware and if it is a text field then you can mention something as to be discussed later or negotiable and in case if the recruiters uh, they like your profile but the salary information is missing then they will give you a call and understand your salary expectations but very few times your application will go forward without knowing your salary expectation so the very first stage is to know your salary expectation and whether that is matching between the range that they have set in the uh, for this particular role or not okay so doing a research is important then the next step here is say in case if you or do not want to mention negotiable or something then you can give a range don't give one number here it is allowed to give a range say between 60000 to 65000 euro annually and please read what is mentioned in the question sometimes it is mentioned that they are asking you for annual gross salary or sometimes it is mentioned they are asking you for monthly gross salary one important tip here in germany is whenever the salary is discussed it is discussed in gross salary that is before your taxes you are supposed to do your own calculation and there are different calculators here which you can use to know about how do you calculate your net salary but uh, again that is mentioned in my video but read it carefully okay whether it's gross annual or gross month and then mention that in the application form that's the first stage then the second time when your salary can be asked is when you are an uh, in a pre screening round with an hr if the hr calls you or the hiring manager uh, discussion then you will be asked your salary expectations so this will be your second step and the third time when you will be asked your salary expectation is say you have cleared the interview and you are meeting say any high level person uh, a director of the team if you are meeting them then they can ask you your salary expectation and in the final hr round they will again ask you your salary expectation so that could be the third point so first is when you apply then it is at the start of the interview process and then it is at the end of the interview process these are the different stages when your salary can be asked to you now please understand if as a candidate at every stage you are giving a different number that's a complete no and uh, everybody will talk to and every person and then they will collect this data what is the salary expectation that has been told and it comes if it comes across that you have given different ranges at different uh, interview uh, step then that, that is going to work against you so you have to decide a range and then you have to stick in that range and one more tip here is whenever you discuss about your salary say my salary expectations is between 60000 to 65000 gross annually or 60000 to 70000 gross annually always end that with the word negotiable always give a room to the interviewer or to the hr that you are not completely hell bent on the salary and you are open to discussing and talking about it at the later stage after you know that time comes that gives a very good impression and that opens the room for negotiation so even 
say uh, if you have mentioned a higher range but you are mentioning that this is negotiable then still that gives a feeling to the hiring manager and a recruiter let's go ahead with the discussion let's see how the interview happens and maybe you prove your skills so much that they themselves increase the salary range a bit for the particular position however if you have given a strict range no at minimum i am expecting 65000 euro for this role and the range for that role is only the maximum they can go is 60000 your application will get rejected then and there okay you are expecting more and we cannot offer you this much right now and it goes uh, against you so always you the use the word negotiable and always give that room that you are ready to discuss about this salary at the later stage now when say you have cleared all the interview round and uh, the question comes is at which stage do you have to negotiate your salary well Uh, the final discussion uh, you can negotiate is when you have cleared all the interview and the hr or somebody from the company gives you a call to uh, talk about uh, the offer that they are giving you but please understand this offer will be based on the range that you have given them and the salary range that they have for this role somewhere those ranges are matching and that is why you have been proceeded in the interview process so very important to give a range and no do not give a direct number you know your range can also have a 10000 euro difference say 60000 to 70000 euro gross annually also you can mention and you can also clarify plus bonus or without bonus so read all this whether the salary includes the bonus or does not include the bonus now another tip here is uh when uh you are talking to the hr you can always ask the hr also what is the salary range for this particular role sometimes the hr can sh- give you that sometimes the hr is not they do not know or the range is not defined and they can tell you we have not defined the range as of now but we will let you know as we proceed uh, coming back to the topic on when can you negotiate the salary now say you have been offered certain uh, salary say you have been offered 65000 gross annually however you are expecting around 70000 gross annually right now the hr has given you the offer and hr has called you and the hr will ask you do you have any questions or what do you think about the offer now that's the time you can give a bit hint but always give logical reasoning behind why do you think that you expect more salary don't just say that i just expect more no give a logical reasoning and what all you can say say for example you can say as per my experience i have so much years of industry experience i think i can add more value to this particular role and i would not require so much training to get onboarded and that's why i think that i deserve a bit more than what you are offering say that or you can say uh that if you are relocating that because i'm relocating to the new country i've done my calculations i have certain dependency and based on that based on my calculation i will be more comfortable with this particular number and i request you if there is a way you can you know uh modify the salary a bit then i'll be more than happy whenever you are discussing about salary you do not have to give an order you have to request and that shows that you're happy with the offer you are just trying if there is something else that can be done that can make you much more happier so have a very polite tone to it have a tone in a way that uh, you are very much interested in the company you are very much interested in the role it's just a salary a bit salary if that can be changed then you will be more than happy about it so that's the right attitude to go about it and everybody understands okay so whatever you are saying if you are making a logical sense to them they will understand and they will try their best because if you have liked the company then they have also liked you you have gone until the end round and not many candidates go to the last round so they will also try their best to negotiate the salary bit here and there and then try to come in the middle ground so one thing for you here is say you have been offered 65000 however you want 70000 but what are the other factors that you have to consider 
please do not be so hell bound on one particular number sometimes you know uh, the salary is not the only reason why you are joining a company you also have to consider do you have a bonus do they have a bonus and if they do what are the percentage ranges of the bonus the questions that you can ask uh, an hr here is how frequently the bonus is paid was there any year the bonus was not paid in the company what is the average range where the bonus has been paid and how is the bonus measured whether it is measured on company's performance and your performance and how are you, how is your performance measured what is the performance review cycle in the company how is the objective setting happens here in the company so these are some nice important questions which you can ask the hr but when when you are talking about the salary negotiation not before that these questions should not be in any other uh, interview round maybe last round with the hr you can still ask few questions and then that shows that you are interested and now you are talking of a relevant point at a relevant time that is also very important so the other factors that you have to consider is uh, the bonus as i said then what are the other benefits are you getting the health insurance the pension scheme i've created a separate video on what different benefits that a company can give you so please ask about those benefits okay and when you ask about all those benefits then you see for the offer package as a whole your salary plus your bonus plus your health insurance plus your uh, travel ticket your meal vouchers your gym membership whatever consider that as a whole and most importantly consider what is the exposure you are going to get in this role what is the growth opportunity in this role how frequently people get promoted and they get grow by the way the promotion here in germany is not as fast as how it happens back in india you know people stay in one role for 2 years 3 years uh 4 years also so it is a slow growth here so you have to be also happy with the role that you join and the salary that you join it's important you're happy with that because it's a slow progress it's not like you are going to get a 30% 40% hike every time every year uh, and then finally uh, what i want to tell you is what is a complete no when you are negotiating a salary see the complete no and your when you can come across as a rude uh, or a dishonest person i have given you some other examples to is say uh, initially in your application you mentioned you are okay with 60000 uh, salary and then by ending the interview you have changed that number to 75000 and 80000 that's a complete no always give a range and always try to negotiate salary within that range that is acceptable but do not try to keep changing your number in every interview do not do that even if you've come across as a very strong candidate technically the behavioral aspect of it you can get rejected because it comes across dishonesty and not very professional so don't try to do that whatever you are saying you have to stick to that so be very careful there's a very thin line here to negotiate the salary and you can do it once but if you keep going back and forth first you say a number and the hr tries and to give you a a salary and then you again come back and saying i have another offer and now i'm expecting this that's not going to work here so you have a very thin line as i said to negotiate the salary and be very use it very wisely and it's not always important to negotiate sometimes it might so happen you have given a range between 60000 to 65000 and you can actually get the maximum salary that you have asked for right so it is it just depends not every time you should negotiate the salary only negotiate the salary when it is utmost important but if you are in a need of a job and if you want to get some experience then focus on that i would not like it that you are losing a job just because your salary negotiations did not happen correctly so as i said even though it is allowed but it is allowed in a very thin line fashion not that uh, extremely what happens back in india uh, to be honest and that's why you have to be very very careful about it 
I hope uh, my videos are helping you and you're getting some insight about it. In case if you want to know more about uh, the life in Germany, the recruitment process here in Germany, or even if you want to uplift your life, keep watching my videos because I create a lot of videos on these topics. And I hope you get your dream job soon. I'm Goodpreet here in Germany. I keep hiring for a lot of people. In case if you want to talk to me, uh, please book my one-to-one -one consultation. Share this video with people that you think can get benefited. And I'll see you soon again. Bye.